G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing my running review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into my video. Let's go. So at this stage, the Samsung Galaxy Watch is the latest and greatest from Samsung. And if you all know me, you know I love my exercise. I love running, I love swimming, I love cycling, I go hiking, I do all sorts of activity. But today, we're talking about running. Now, do I think it's worth it for running? And I'd have to say, right at the start of the video, yes. And I'm gonna get into why. I have used it a lot for running, and I'm gonna show you some differences here because I use the Samsung Galaxy Watch, and I also use it in conjunction with Edamondo running app. Now I run five times a week. It could be slow runs, long runs, interval runs, tempo runs, you name it, I'll probably do it. And that's between six and 14 kilometers at a time. So I really am pushing the Galaxy Watch for all it's worth and getting as much as I can out of it. One of the things I can say is that I'll use the Galaxy Note 9 in my pocket and the Galaxy Watch on my wrist and they both track my runs separately. Edamondo on the Galaxy Note 9 Samsung Health on the Galaxy Watch. The difference is about 1% in terms of total mileage covered during the run. And that could quite easily be just 15 seconds in pressing start. That's the difference it could be. So I'm reasonably confident that the Galaxy Watch is tracking the correct distance. One of the things that did throw me out a little bit was when I press start for start running, and I'll start running. It actually doesn't pick up where I am until about two or three kilometers into my run, yet my overall distance is correct, which is a little bit confusing, and I, I sit there and wait for it to connect to the GPS, and it doesn't seem to, but like I said, once I start running two kilometers in, it grabs my position, but by the end of the run, the actual total distance is correct. So overall distance, the results are comparable with other applications and devices. So I think it's fairly accurate. Now when it's tracking your speed and your pace and your heart rate and your calories burn and all those other fan dangle bits of information, I don't know how accurate it is. But what I do know is it's consistent. It's consistent with what I'm getting from the other applications that I might use on my phone. So when I'm running at a five minute, 30 second pace, it's given me that result on the watch and the same result on the phone as well. And again, at the end of the run, my overall average pace with the watch is the same as on the phone. So it really is, uh, like I said, quite comparable. And I don't think it's really giving you any false information. With the heart rate, I don't know if it's that accurate. I'm not testing my heart rate as I'm running, but what I do know is that if I'm running up a hill as fast as I can, my heart rate is up there. I know it's up there. I don't need to look at the watch to see that it's up there. However, the watch also tells me that it is up there. It is sky high. Once I back down a bit with my pace and start running a little bit slower, catch my breath, my heart rate monitor then tells me that my heart rate has dropped considerably. So I don't know if it's exactly accurate, but it's consistent with how I'm feeling as I run, whether it's faster or slower, and my condition as well. So from my point of view, it's tracking most of the information fairly accurately, whether it's pace, speed, distance, time, or heart rate, they're all fairly consistent. And you can really see that here, if I put the screenshots up of the Edamondo app and the Galaxy S Health, you can see that they are quite comparable, and I don't think that you're gonna see a really big difference in any information that's coming across there. Now I should point out, this is the 42 millimeter Bluetooth version, so it's not using the 4G LTE connection to assist in that running and the tracking of the running. So that's something to consider as well. Maybe the 4G version will give you better accuracy. Now I certainly want to touch on the build and design of the Galaxy Watch for running. Now for me, look, I'm not a big dude. The watch sits nicely on my wrist. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't hit on anything. I don't feel any unnecessary weight while I'm running. I actually really like the style. I think it's, it looks quite robust, but it's also fairly stylish as well. I put it on nice and firm and snug so that I get a good heart rate reading, and that never really seems to fail me. It doesn't slide up and down my wrist or bounce around unless it's on loosely, and it's very responsive. So while I'm running, if I quickly glance up at my wrist, 
the screen comes on and I can see what pace I'm doing. Sometimes it's a little bit slow to respond and I might do a bit of a more robotic sort of flick of the wrist to get it to activate the screen. But 99% of the time, just a quick glance is all it takes for the screen to come on and it gives me the information I need. Now the watch will also give me real time voice feedback as I'm running, which is really cool to have that speaker on there. So I get to the kilometer mark and it'll tell me my pace and my speed and whatever else I've asked it to give me in terms of feedback. So that again is great information to have while you're running. So you actually don't have to look at your watch while you're running. If you're happy getting that feedback every 500 meters to a kilometer, then you're gonna get that feedback. Now overall, I think the Galaxy Watch is definitely something that I can recommend for running. Now if you're like me and you're an average runner, I mean I'm not a professional sports person, so this is for the average runner who likes running between three and five times a week, the Galaxy Watch is definitely worth considering. Not just for the running, but also for the style that it offers. It can be worn throughout the day. It's not an obvious sport tracking device like some of the other ones are. They can really tell that they're for sport. Uh, this is, I think, a stylish device that can be worn in many different environments. The feedback is great. The tracking is great. The notifications are great. I'm just really happy overall with the Galaxy Watch. And yes, for the price, it is something I could recommend for running. Now, if you do other exercises, subscribe to the channel because I will be reviewing it, especially in terms of swimming. I'm still testing out the swimming and I've got some mixed results there. So you might want to see what I've got to say about that and cycling. And definitely hit me up in the comments below if you would like me to test a certain feature out on the Galaxy Watch. That's what I'm here for, to test them out, to answer the questions for you so you don't have to waste your money on a device. Hopefully I can learn that for you. So hit the like button and the subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.